We're asking people um, about Kathleen Wynn from Mark's last week. Oh, where that bro. I hate oh. Kathleen, bro. <laughs> Well, is it a sign of liberal desperation or a fair comparison? Last week, Premier Kathleen Wynne actually played the Trump card. She compared progressive conservative leader Doug Ford to Donald Trump. Well, it's a baffling comparison and what does American politics have to do with the Ontario provincial election? In any event, let's see what Generation Trudeau After Dark has to say about this one. Kathleen Wynne compared Doug Ford you know, the man that wants her job to Donald Trump. And we're asking people, do you think that's an accurate comparison? I think that everyone should stop comparing people to Donald Trump and make a stand on Donald Trump because it's a real problem. <laughs> oh, Donald Trump's a real problem. Uh, obviously he is. Oh, really? It, well, in what way, ma'am? This is ridiculous. Oh, you said he's a real problem. I'm just wondering in what way is he a real problem? I, don't, I actually don't have to tell you because you should know if you have common sense. I hate That's Doug Ford. No, no. Oh, I cannot stand oh, hold him. On, hold on. I cannot stand Doug Ford, Rob Ford, yeah. Kathy Ford, none Wait, of them. Uh, hold on. First of all, <laughs> Kathleen Wynn. <laughs> her, her, she, she's been producing all these taxes on us. Hold it, hold it. I'm going to hold this hot dog. I'm going to hold this hot dog. Kathleen Wynn. I'm holding this hot dog that you're producing 13% tax on. Whoa. Mother The campaign is going to bring to light the uh, bad and the good in each of these people. And it's going to be up to the Ontario people to decide. So. All right. Um, Which way are you leaning, sir? Well, at the moment, I'm still leaning a bit uh, Kathleen Wynn. But that's just because I know, really? her, I know her better than Doug Ford. I want to see what Doug Ford has to offer. Oh, so is this a matter of better trip. the devil you know than the one you don't? To be honest, yes. Do you think that's a fair comparison? I, I got a watch right <laughs> Was it something I said? <laughs> Doug yes, Ford okay. can make a ch Donald Trump, oh, we're from America, and we hate Donald yeah. Trump! Oh, why do you hate him, man? Because from we're from America, and we hate him. But but you Americans elected him. Uh, no, we don't, no, dude. We That's don't. only people from the middle of the country. We're from the side of the country. Yeah. Oh, we like you're like the intellectual them. sides of the country. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, we're rich. I think when it's got to get out of here. It's got to get out of here. It's not good for Canada. She's doing everything for herself. We need something for Canada. Okay? Mm. Canada. For Canada right now. You better put that on the news front page, CNN. CNN is definitely not going to post this because they're so liberal. You've got to get them out of here. Get Kathleen Wynne. We need somebody for Canada. I don't want people from Canada to think that like we Americans voted for Donald Trump because it wasn't us. It was random it was ass us. people from like the middle of America. And oh, that's okay. not us. To be honest, Doug Ford is just going with white privileges. Oh, Doug Ford represents white privilege. Yeah. In what way, sir? I'm not sure I understand that. Taxes. Say it again, sir. Taxes. What what American political figure would you compare to Kathleen Wynne? None. <laughs> no, no. Oh my God! Anything that's bad. No, Anything that is bad. Vote conservative, please, and thank you. Get liberal. Get liberals out of this country. Thank you very much. Six, six, Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Thank you very much. Take care. Kathleen Wynne, Doug Ford. He's not Donald Trump. He's for Canada.